in this question, we're asked to find the vector equation of the line passing through the points A, which has coordinates minus 1, 5, 2, and another point B, which has coordinates 2, 1, minus 3. Now, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is just draw a diagram. I'm going to have my origin as O, and the line that I'm trying to work out will be represented by this green line here. And I'm trying to find the position vector of any point on this line. And let's just suppose this is the position vector, which I'll denote by R, of just one of many points along here. Now, we have two known points on the line. And they are the points A, which let's just suppose A was this point. I'll label that as having coordinates minus 1, 5, and 2. So the position vector of A would be minus 1, 5, and 2. Similarly, B is any point on this line. It doesn't matter where I put it. I'll just put it here, say. OK, that's the point B. And it has coordinates then 2, 1, minus 3. And so the position vector of B will be the vector 2, 1, minus 3. Now, in order to get to any point on this line, say this point here, what I can do is I can go either up to A from the origin and then travel a certain amount along the line in the direction of the line. And let's pick a vector that is parallel to this line. Suppose I pick, let's say, this vector in here from A to B, and I'll label it in like that. I can take that vector and I can move it along the line like so until I get to a particular point on this line, say this one here. So in other words then, as long as I find the vector A to B, I should be able to find any position vector of any point on this line. So what I need then is to find first of all the vector A to B so I can get this direction vector. So we'll pick out A to B and we should know that going from A to B is the same as going from A to O followed by O to B. Now A to O is negative O to A. So I can think of that as minus minus 1, 5, 2 and then from O to B which is adding the vector 2, 1, minus 3. Some of you may well know this simple result going from one place to another, A to B in this case, as being the same as O to B minus O to A. You'd get the same answer. O to B is this vector minus O to A. Anyway, we'll work this out and what have we got? Well, this is going to be 1 and 2 making 3. Minus 5 and 1 is minus 4. And minus 2 and minus 3 is minus 5. So the vector A to B then is 3 minus 4 minus 5. Now, if I take my vector here, the vector that was from A to B. Let's just move it out here for the moment, OK? And what I'll do is we'll just write over the top that that is this vector 3, minus 4, minus 5, OK? So, if I wanted then, as I say, to get from A to any point on this line, what I've got to do is go from O to A and then travel any amount of the vector 3 minus 4 minus 5, either in this direction 
or in the other direction it will be negative values. OK, so let's wind this problem up then and any point on the line then is given by R equals O2 say A which would be minus 1, 5, 2 followed by any amount of this vector and any amount is often represented as lambda but you can find that you could use any other letters uh, if you want to use Greek letters, fair enough you might want to use common letters like S and T that you'll find in uh, textbooks. So we've got minus 1, 5, 2, that's O to A, followed by any amount in the direction then of this vector, which is 3, minus 4, minus 5. And there you have it. That is a vector equation for any point on this line. Some of you, though, might have thought, well, OK, why did I have to use O to A? You could have actually used O to B as your access point, if you like, onto the line. So another version for the line could have been this one. You could have gone R equals O to B. So that would be 2, 1, minus 3. And then any amount in the direction of this vector. I'm just going to choose another variable here. I'm going to choose the Greek letter mu and it would be in the direction of 3, minus 4, minus 5. So by varying lambda or mu in any of these equations we would get to any point on this line. So any of these answers would do. So hopefully the, you understand how we can find the vector equation of line when you know that the line passes through two given points.